Hi everyone, I'm testing the Hornady Tap FPD and the 40 Smith & Wesson 155 grain jacketed hollow point. I'll be using the SimTest Media calibrated to ballistic gel specs and adding four layers of denim. Test gun is a Glock 22. This is my first test of the Hornady Tap FPD in handgun ammo. I did put out a test in 2009 of the 223 Remington out of an AR-15, but that format is much different than what we're going to be working with today. Another Hornady load that you may be familiar with, and I have tested it, is the critical defense, which is there on the right. The first question I had, and you may have as well, is, uh, is this the same bullet? Is the tap the same bullet as the critical defense, just missing the plug in that hollow point cavity? Just at a glance, these bullets are not the same. They have a different shape. That's a 165 critical defense, by the way, on the right versus the 155 grain tap that we're testing today. But even at that, that is a much different bullet design. And here is another view that I hope will confirm that for you. The hollow point cavity is a lot larger. You have some exposed lead around the top versus the uh, critical defense there on the right. So I do believe these are two different loads, but definitely premium handgun loads from the Hornady factory. On the Hornady website, and I had to get some information there because I'm not finding a lot of reviews on this cartridge nor videos. There's only going to be a handful of videos up, at least at this point in time. They use a low flash propellant as uh, what I think a lot of the premium handgun manufacturers are doing. Unfortunately, you will probably have to use a handgun in self-defense, if that is the case, in a low light situation and you do not want to be blinded by muzzle flash. So that's one key point that they advertise in this cartridge. It is not a bonded bullet like the gold dots and other things that we've tested in the past. So I'm anxious to see how this performs through the four layers of denim and the sim test media. Running this through the Glock 22 four and a half inch barrel. Be shooting from 10 feet. Before we take the shot you will see the calibration specs for the sim test and the velocity out of my chronograph. Great location, and it's in the block. Let's go cutting. A couple of tracks for you, a short one and then a complete track. On the short one, we're getting a lot of denim, as is always the case in the sim test media, about three inches in. You can see the uh, stretch cavity here. As that cuts off, We've got a beautiful track here. Entry point, you can see this expansion cavity or stretch cavity. And I'm telling you, that is, that is really deep. Some nasty stuff there. The track continues on. Still going, still going, still going. This was a 22-inch block, by the way. There we go. Trying to get it in this light. 18 and a half inches of penetration. And from this angle, you don't see much expansion. Let me go on the other side of the table and give you another view. There we go, that's much better. Had to work a little bit of macro dissection. Been wanting to say that all day to get this viewpoint. But obviously it did not expand that much. We may find some denim in the hollow point cavity. But 18 and a half inches. Let's take a look. Average expansion is 0.565. It is somewhat irregular. You'll see more of that in just a moment. One fifty two point six on retained weight, one fifty five grain bullet. Didn't see any fragments in the damage track, so if they veered off course, I missed them. That's a little unusual to be off that much. For some folks, the eighteen and a half inches of penetration may be bordering on the edge of over penetration. I can certainly understand and respect that. I do think that uh, I had this expanded a little bit more on us as I was expecting then it, it may not have penetrated so far. You just never really know and you have all types of obstacles in these various scenarios and you just really can't predict what will happen. That's why this is just a representation but I do appreciate you watching and especially putting up with the cicadas. Thanks again.